Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a tutorial for you all. I don't think that I've done like a proper talk through tutorial on my channel in months. Absolutely months. I cannot even remember the last one I did. It's been so long. But anyway, I posted a picture up on Instagram of my Inglot palette, which I did make a while ago. This is it here. And I was like, Laura, you have to do a look using your Inglot palette because you haven't shown any of them on your YouTube channel. And you've been on YouTube for almost a year now. So what's going on? So I decided to create this look for you all today. I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just winging it, but I'm so happy with it and how it turned out. I used mainly these two shades and then I did incorporate this shade down the bottom as well and I absolutely love it. So yeah, if you'd like to see how I achieved this look, then just keep watching. So first I'm gonna prime my face using the Hourglass Veil Primer. And I just like this one because it does mattify the skin and it does make my redness kind of look a bit less red. So next I'm just going to be filling in my pores using the L'Oreal Skin Perfection Magic Touch Instant Blur Cream. This cream is really, really cool. It's like a little stick. <laughs> like a little tube of product. But anyway, I just kind of put that in the center of my face because that's where I really need it the most. And then to pat that in, I pat upwards. I just find that that gives the best effect with this primer or blur cream, whatever. The now this step is completely optional, but it is so hot at the moment in Australia. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit of Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray underneath my primer, I mean, over my primer, under my foundation. So for foundation today, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal True Match. I have mine in the shade W4. So now I'm just going to be concealing underneath my eyes because my dark circles are terrible. I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in two shades, Vanilla and also Custard. And I just like mixing the two shades because it still highlights, but it's not too intense. So, yeah. <laughs> And then I'm just going to use a beauty blender to blend that in. I love beauty blenders because they make everything just so fast to do. So I'm just going to be using the custard shade and I'm just going to highlight a few more areas of my face. And I'm just going to add a little bit of vanilla as well, because why not? <laughs> so I'm going to do some of my eyebrows now, and then I'm going to finish them off after the look, just so I know how intense I really want my eyebrows to be. So I'm just going to first brush through my eyebrows with a brow gel. This one I've been really adoring at the moment. It's the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper and I have mine in the darker shade which is medium slash dark. So I'm just going to brush those through my eyebrows just so my eyebrow hairs stay in place. And now I'm just going to be using a little bit of my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown on this Tarte Eyebrow Brush. So I'm going to move on to eyes. I'm going to start off by using my NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. So I thought that I should zoom you guys in so you could actually see what I was doing on the eyes. So I've just applied that NARS eyeshadow primer. I'm now going to go in with my Smashbox contour palette and I'm just going to take the highlight shade. Oh, that's not the highlight shade. This is the highlight shade. And I'm just going to apply that on a Real Techniques contour brush. And that's just really to make the eyeshadow primer not so tacky. That is so powdery. This is the first time I've used it. And can you see that? Wow. And while I have this palette open already, I may as well set my undry highlight as well. well 
Now I'm just going to go in with a nice matte colour. I'm going to be using a shade out of my Naked palette and this is a shade called Naked. It's just this one right here. And sorry about my nails. Long story. And I'm just going to take that on an Eco Tools fluffy brush. I'm going to be using this shade as my transition colour. So I'm just going to work that through my crease. So taking my Inglot palette, I'm going to start off with this colour here. I'm going to start from the outer corner, I'm going to work my way in. And this one is called the shade 21, I think. I'm not too sure, but I think it's 21. It's the most beautiful, like, mossy green colour. And I'm just going to use a Eco Tools Stay There Shadow Brush. I have no idea why that's called that, but that's what I'm using. And I just want to quickly mention, I'm not like swishing my brush around in the pan and then applying it to my eye. I am literally just dabbing it like this a few times and then applying it to my eye because I don't want a super, super opaque color straight off the bat. I do want to definitely work it up to a darker intensity. Now I'm going to flip my brush over and I'm going to go into this shade here, which is a bit more of a more vibrant green. And that one I think is called 419. And that's just going to go in the middle to the inner corner. Now I'm going to flip my brush over again and I'm just going to grab a tiny bit of this colour and a tiny bit of that colour and pat it over the middle just so the colours kind of fade into each other seamlessly. I'm just going to take that first brush I used with no additional product and I'm just going to run it through the crease so the colours are more seamless. Now I really, really feel like using this silvery, purpley, grey-ish colour. This is called 605, I believe. And yeah, I'm just going to use that. I'm going to smudge it along the outer corner. I'm just going to flick it up. You'll be able to see better than how I explain it because I'm terrible at explaining things. So I'm just using an angled eyeliner brush. This one's by B Delium and it's the 763 brush. And I'm just going to dab a little bit of that color onto my brush. Tap off any excess. Excess, not access. The. And just from the lash line, I'm going to flick up. And I'm not going to take that colour all the way in, I'm just going to really take it to about here where the circle, the colour part of your eye kind of stops, so about there. And I do find colours like this are a lot less harsh than using a black, which I personally enjoy because it does, if I use a black it makes my eyes look smaller and I'm not a big fan of that. So using those two greeny tones again, I'm just going to put the darker colour on the first half and then the lighter one. Um, just to about here on the eye. So I'm going to start off with the lighter colour. I'm just going to go in with a little pencil brush. This one's by Eco Tools. And then I'm just going to work the darker green on the outer part. Now I'm just going to use this Zoeva Petite Eye Blender brush. It's really, really cool. It just looks like that, if you can see it. And I'm just going to go into that naked shade again. And I'm just going to buff out those greens. Now because I feel like it, I'm just going to go in with that grey shade again, that one there, and I'm just going to push that on the outer third of my lower lash line just to give my eye a bit more definition. Now I'm going to pop the tiniest bit of a brown eyeliner in my waterline. And if you're curious, this is the Rimmel Scandalize Colca Gel Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Brown. So I'm just going to be putting a little bit of glue on my fake eyelashes. These are the Ardell Wispy Lashes. And I'll also be putting on a little bit of mascara as well. So I'm going to darken up my eyebrows just a little bit. So I'm going to be using MAC Brun Eyeshadow. It just looks like this and I do quite like it for my eyebrows and my hair colour. And I'm just going to be applying that powder with a Zoeva 322 Brow Line Brush. I like this brush because the bristles aren't too long so they won't just randomly like flop around. I completely forgot to highlight the brow bone, so I'm just going to be using Virgin from Urban Decay, also in the Naked palette. 
that is super super intense so I'm gonna like dull it down a little bit um, just using that highlight powder in that contour palette so I'm gonna be using some bronzer now because my face still looks very very round and that's very cute so I'm gonna be using the makeup forever matte bronze bronzer in the shade 20 with my eco tools domed bronzer brush So because that wasn't dark enough for me, I'm going to go back into that Smashbox palette and I'm going to use the bronzer shade out of that one, which is the middle one here. I haven't used this before, so I hope it goes well. I'm going to be using... What brush will I use? I'm going to use the Eco Tools Blush Brush. It looks like this. And I may as well contour, so I'll use the contour shade out of the palette as well, so the one on the end here. And this colour is ridiculously pigmented, you guys have no idea. I'm going to be using the NARS ITA brush, but to be honest, I don't think it's worth hype. Like, I've used it for maybe the past two weeks now, and I seriously do not think it's worth hype. Just being honest. I'm going to use the teeniest bit of Warm Soul Blush by MAC. It looks like this, and it's super, super pretty. And I'm just going to use that on the same Eco Tools blush brush. You see it when you close your eyes. Maybe you now for highlighter, I did pick up this Inglot pigment. This is the Inglot AMC Pure Pigment Eyeshadow in the shade 79. Now, I hope this works out because it swatches on my hand like a highlight colour, but in the tub it looks like a melon colour. I'll swatch it on my hand for you. So that's the colour that it goes on the, the skin with, at least the one that I do in the cap. So I hope that when I put it on my cheek, it doesn't go intense because I'm going to try and use this as a highlighter. So I just got the tiniest little bit of that pigment into the cap and I'm just going to use this tiny little brush to apply it to the cheeks. Hopefully this works. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I need a bit more. Oh my gosh, guys. That is like the most beautiful thing. Oh my god. I love it. Oh my gosh. If you love highlight, you need this highlight in your life. Oh my gosh. I'm going to stick the tiniest little bit of that pigment in my inner corner as well. Just for a little bit of extra something something. And I'm just going to use the Zoeva Luxe Smoky Shader Brush. Oh my gosh, if you love highlight colours, you need this pigment in your life. That's the Inglot AMC pigment in the shade 79. Now I think because the eyes are so intense, at least for me, especially for the daytime, and also the skin is super, super glowy, I think that I am going to keep the lips quite nude, but still defined. So I'm going to define those with a lip liner. This is the Too Faced Perfect Lips Perfect Spice Lip Liner. And I love this. This is beautiful. And I personally don't like to draw in my cupid's bow. I personally like to go across. That does make the lips look a bit more full without looking too fake. No joke, guys. I really want to use this lipstick so bad because I've never used it before. I want to use the NARS Audacious Lipstick in the shade Barbara. This is what it looks like. And I think it would go perfectly with this look because it's not too light of a nude. And it's not too pink or too brown. So I'm going to try this and hopefully it works because it's absolutely beautiful and I've been dying to wear it. At the of your class, so that's what the look looks like with Barbara on the lips. I think that I'm going to put the tiniest bit of Raquel on the center. So I'm going to blot my lips and then I'm going to put Raquel on from NARS Audacious Lipsticks also. Maybe one day you'll I really like those two paired together. It just gives a bit more dimension to the lips and it makes my lips look a bit more full. So I love that. I'm just gonna finish this look off by using a little bit of Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Now, if you do have oilier skin, I would recommend to set your foundation with powder, but for me, I don't, didn't really feel like doing that today, so I'm just gonna be using the All Nighter Setting Spray. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely comment down below what you thought of it and what you would change about the look or what you loved about the look. Definitely let me know because I'd love to hear your feedback on it. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.